If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to review this card because apparently he's really interesting to a lot of people. Um, a lot of the times when they release cards like this, uh, they don't really do anything too crazy to them, right? But I've heard really good things about him. So I'm very curious to see how he ends up performing in game. So guys, with Frankowski, Blaszczykowski, uh, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skimmels with a three star weak foot. He is a uh, premium shapeshifters uh, card, so you can add him to pretty much any team and he gets three chemistry, which is pretty cool. Uh, player traits in game, he's got flare, speed dribbler, in game attributes. Uh, this is how the card is formatted. So to be fair, from face card stats, right, he actually looks pretty decent, right? Because for me personally, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and give him probably the marksman chemistry style, right? Boosting the dribbling, shooting, and physicality of the card as much as possible. Uh, because his pace is already in a good area. Shooting will be improved to be in a better area. Passing is already in a good area. And his dribbling is also in the mid 90 spot as well as up, right? Which is obviously very nice because he is five foot nine. Uh, this card does have the average body type. You guys know average body type is usually not the craziest thing to work with, but... We'll see what it's like, right? Uh, the card does have some defensive stats, which can be a W, obviously, with defensive awareness at... Uh, or not defensive awareness, but defensive work rates at a medium work rate. Definitely very nice stuff there. Uh, and then for physical capabilities, he also has some physical stats too. So this is a card that can be switched into multiple positions for the side areas, but it is a card that, as we all know, is most likely going to be used over on that right-hand side. So uh, for us, guys, we are going to be using him in a 4-4-2 formation, uh, being played as a striker as well as a right mid, right? So we'll be switching between uh, both of those positions to see how the card generally performs. So yeah, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. All right, guys, so you guys know the vibes. I already screwed up the uh, footage. It's when we record the other screen because we're dumb. Um, so yeah, I'm just using this card over here on the right hand side in this 4-3-2-1. He gets involved. The guy overcommits into the middle position. I think I hit a red time strike there and he still hit it to the bottom left corner really nicely. So we're defending here in this situation. Uh, obviously at some point we get the ball here with Becker. Pass the ball off to the side position. You know, we start to go in the counter attack because there's a bunch of space that opens up. We won't make it through if we just completely do that run the entire time. So what we do is we get the pass off to Blaszczykowski. Blaszczykowski. <laughs> Might as well be Blaszczykowski, honestly. Frankowski. And um, yeah, we do end up scoring. It's a nice finish, to be honest. So a nice little finish to the bottom left corner. Nice little curl on it as well. So we're defending in this area here. Obviously, from the kickoff, Arati receives possession of the ball. It's all about looking for the specific runs that the players make, right? So we start to utilize some middle space here. Middle opens up like crazy for us. We get the pass off here um, with Frankowski to Vitinha. Obviously, left foot on the left side, like I mentioned to you guys in the review. And we end up scoring that opportunity. I tried to do like a scoop there, but it didn't work out. Oh my goodness. And we'll take it. <laughs> okay. That's why Viting on that left side, man, you know? Nicely done. Nice play. Good stuff. Good stuff. Like I said, guys, VT on the left side, man, in the review. Look at that. Oh, get it. Yes. Am I onside? Unlucky. Get it. Yes. I'll pass. Touch. Good. Nice. Get the pass. Nice. I was going to make that pass to him, but like you guys know how that is. They, they block the passing angle there. 
alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Might really be able to trouble them here. Ah, uh, I think he used his goalkeeper there. I keep making that shot, but I just gotta run because if people use manual goalkeeping, it's GG's. Let's go by. by. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I have to do like a lob pass or something there. That eh, was a well weighted pass. Ah, oh, almost. Alexis Sanchez. It's with Bamba. And he has options available. Mbappe. Oh, I thought it was going to be a penalty. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. That works. Can he put it away? That works. Try to use manual goalkeeping afterwards, too. Ah, oh, unlucky. They do that animation if it's like a lot of pressure, right? Okay. Okay, great finesse shots. Wow. Oh, I imagine I got that. One little Elasco into the acceleration, you know? Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done another skill move right after. Get <laughs> a tap shot this left foot. Whoops. Yeah, L1 Elastico. That's how you have to beat the defense, right? Because they just stop in place pretty much. Really? Come on, man. Oh, that was a good shot, too. It's a dip. Was a dip. Ah. Uh, oh, do I get that? Oh, no, no. I'm good. A little bit of emphasis to uh, take the shots while I mistimed it. That's it. That is it. You know what? They did a good job with this card because normally when they give upgrades to people that are that don't have any unique attributes, they're usually like super whatever. But he actually feels pretty good in game. Oh, I try to get that outside foot. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Opportunity. Oh, I guess I have to make an extra pass there. I don't know. I know his weak foot's not the greatest, but... Nicely done. I'm going to force this run here, too. Good. Good, good, good. Nice score. Beauty. Score that with his weak foot, eh? That's good. Up shot. I have to do a power strike there? Okay. Yeah, do a power strike then. He hits it uh, to the goalkeeper in that area. That's not great. I was about to say, guys, I have to score FIFA mechanics to score these opportunities. <laughs> no! Alexis 
That works. I don't know what happened, but we'll take it. We'll take it. There we go. He used manual goalkeeping there. That's why we got the near post angle. I like that he hits the top corner as well. Deserve to use manual goalkeeping. Also, that play was kind of saucy. Not gonna lie, kind of saucy. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Frankowski card. So you know what, EA, this promo is nice. It's a nice promo. You normally when you guys make cards like this, like they still feel like super generic in game a lot of the times, right? Because what happens a lot of the times in FIFA, guys, is like when they don't have like base mechanic stuff. When they get upgraded, they never end up being that nice. But with shapeshifters, like you could tell there was actual time spent on some of these cards. Like, because this card's a left back, a left wing back, and he's been rotated into that right sided area. And he performs really well in game. You know, like for me personally, you do feel the average body type. I'm not going to say that you don't, but it's not a nuisance on the card. Like, it's perfectly fine because. When you have an average, but you have the five star skills, that is your form of dribbling, right? It's more so when you're using like the left stick stuff where sometimes it's an issue sometimes, but not enough for you to really dislike this card. I think generally speaking, he was really good. Like there was moments where I was using him as a striker, which to be fair, you shouldn't use him there, right? It's mostly a card that you should use in the right sided areas, right attacking mid, right mid. You know, I was playing him in a 4-4-2 in the right, uh, right mid position and it's his best spots, right? Because... I don't care about working with dribbling as much in those areas. For instance, um, if you guys actually checked out the main team here, right? This is the team that we were using. You guys watched the Vitinha video, right? So in the Vitinha video, I mentioned how, sure, his left stick is sometimes weird. You notice it. People are saying to give a marksman to Vitinha. I'm not playing a game. Nowadays, it's going to have lower sprint speed. No chance, right? It's just not going to happen. In this game, you need pace. Like, it has to be minimum mid 90s right like they did to frankowski so i don't have to give him that pace boost right so beating it sometimes feels weird on the dribble but that was it right everything else comes off great on the card so having a left footed player on the left side is great so i was switching between sanchez and frankowski like this and i was using frankowski over on that right hand side and it was fine right because that weird feeling to dribbling you don't care about as much because you use him in that right sided area it works out great the power strikes came off nicely I didn't mind his weak foot whatsoever. Obviously, there's certain situations, certain strikes that the three-star weak foot will be noticeable, but he scored a really nice opportunity on his weak foot to the near post. Uh, finishing came off great. It's like, I can actually see people being somewhat serious in this game use this card. I'm not joking. Like, for the price that he's at at 173K, for yet again a premium version of a shapeshifter that you can use in any team because the, li the links would have been super annoying, it's annoying, but guys, like you can get Fofana in the team. You can get Medina because Fofana and Medina, those two cards are crazy. Openda, no. I, I did a Foot Champs card. That card's whatever, right? But Fofana and Medina are both meta cards you can use. And that's a triple link setup as it is, right? But you don't even need that because he can be used in any team. So that that is a huge W card to add into the game, right? Because you can use those two cards that are cheap, but meta in the team. Like it's it's really, really nice. Um, Samba, honestly, Samba's super weird. I don't, I don't know if you guys used him, but I have him in the team, but he's a, he's a super weirdo. Uh, but he's a goalkeeper, so you know how goalkeepers are in general. Um, but yeah, no, W card. I liked him. I, I, I actually thought he performed really well. I could see why people enjoyed using him. Like, he's actually really good in game. So yeah, he did a good job with this card for sure. Uh, definitely not going to be like S tier, but like high A tier, 100%. Like, he's really, really nice. Um, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.